Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I wanted to show you how you can torrent more safely using NordVPN. So if you're new to VPNs in general, or if you're not sure how it works with NordVPN, well, this video is for you. So before I get into this, if you're interested in Nord, by the way, or if you'd like to learn more about it, you'll find a discount as well as a full review in the description down below. Now, the way this works, if you're not familiar, peer-to-peer -peer activities like torrenting, essentially here, anybody that's downloading the same torrent will be able to see your IP address, your port, your client, and similar information that you probably don't want to be exposed. So what a good VPN will do is essentially hide your online activities and give you a different IP address that doesn't belong to you and hides your real identity and location by simply connecting to a server and then going to your torrenting client. So let's say in this case, I wanna use NordVPN. All I really need to do is go down to peer-to-peer -peer servers right here. So these are the servers that you wanna use when torrenting because they're optimized for torrenting. And once you're here, you can just pick a location and it will connect you to the server. Just make sure you're using the NordLynx protocol for the fastest connection possible and then go back to your torrenting client and it should work just fine and of course if you want to double check whether or not your ip changed you can always go to any ip finder and it'll give you your ip once you've double checked that and you feel reassured then you can go ahead and launch your torrenting client and because you're sure that you're not using your real ip address and everything that you're doing online is hidden away from your isp or anybody else that could be trying to pry on your private information including whatever it is that you're downloading online. Now, NordVPN overall is actually one of the better VPNs out there. Um, it's got 61 countries at your disposal and over 6,000 servers. So it's got plenty of countries, not as much as Express, for example, which has 105, but still, this is plenty for most people. And you have specialty servers, not just the peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers, but also other servers that can be very useful in a handful of situations, like obfuscated servers, for example, if you're in a censorship-heavy country, or if you're looking to access the dark web, you can use Onion over VPN servers and so on and so forth. Of course, you do have other bonus features like threat protection and MeshNet and dark web monitor. For more information on that, you can check out the review below. But what I'll talk about is the threat protection, which is the most interesting feature that can be very beneficial when it comes to torrenting, because when you turn this on, it acts like a little bit of a mini antivirus and it essentially keeps any harmful files away from your computer. So yeah, it's definitely a very useful feature, especially when you're downloading torrents. The other really important feature is the kill switch, which will make sure that your internet connection is cut as soon as you disconnect from the VPN, whether the connection drops unexpectedly or when you disconnect from the VPN manually. So this is a very cool and useful feature. And you also have the app kill switch, which will essentially disconnect the application itself instead of your entire connection as it is with the conventional kill switch. So yeah, overall, I would say if you're looking for a VPN that works great for torrenting, it's also arguably the fastest VPN in the industry, thanks to the normal links protocol uh, it's super quick when it comes to downloading streaming it works great for streaming as well if i haven't mentioned that already you can secure up to six devices per subscription sure you don't have as many countries as other vpns like express or surfshark but still 61 countries is actually enough for most people a lot of you i know are looking for uh, european east asian and north american servers for the most part and nord vpn has plenty of those now if you're interested in learning a little bit more about nord again you'll find the review down below and if you end up getting it you'll also find a link in the description that'll save you some more money besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity. thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day